This is an exclusive excerpt from the Stuff File program with Peter Anthony Holder. Legendary Canadian science fiction writer Robert J. Sawyer is releasing his 25th novel in a unique way. The book is called The Downloaded, and that's what you can also do with the novel because in a six-month exclusive window, it is being released as an audiobook on Audible, and it's free to anyone who has an Audible account. Robert joins us via Zoom from Toronto. Hi, Robert. Hi, Peter. How are you? Just tickety-boo. Thanks for being on the program with us. So uh, this is a unique way to release a book. Uh, when did you come up with this idea, and, and how did you come up with this idea? So it wasn't my idea, but I think it's a very good idea. Audible, like Netflix, got its start distributing product produced by other people and only later realized, I think, that uh, the real money, of course, is in producing original content. And Audible Canada, in particular, decided they wanted to approach some big-name Canadian writers and see if we might be willing to have our next works come out first as audiobooks from Audible. And uh, I was very intrigued. As you may know, I have a degree in radio and television arts, and I've done work, a little bit of radio drama work for CBC Radio. And so I said, sure, let's see what we can come up with. And then they sweetened the pot by bringing on board Gregory J. Sinclair. Well, Greg used to be the head of radio drama at the CBC uh, as the person who would direct and produce the production of the audio version of whatever novel I was going to write next. The whole thing was a wonderful, wonderful experience. And uh, Audible paid me very handsomely for this exclusive window. So absolutely, I was thrilled to get on board with this, as you say, very uh, unusual way of launching a book, but it's launching it uh, in not only stereo, but Dolby Atmos. It's a wonderful way to experience the downloaded, my 25th novel. Now, is this audiobook uh, dramatized or just narrated? So interestingly, I wrote it as straight narration because of COVID-19. We originally had thought, yeah, we'll do it as a, you know, an audio drama, right? A radio drama, voices back and forth. And then uh, the COVID protocols hit. And Audible said, flag on the play. We don't know if we can get more than one performer into a recording studio at a time given COVID uh, lockdown procedures. So Greg, the producer, said, what about Rashomon? I, it's the Akira Kurosawa film uh, that uh, has different first-person points of view recounting the same story. And I said, that's, that's our template. That's how we'll do it. Well, by the time we were finished, those COVID protocols were lifted. And Greg said, I'm going to I, you know, we've recorded all the actors individually, one at a time, but I'm going to undertake to intersperse and uh, put all the actors together in a scene. And I said, you go, girl. That's a lot of work, man. Uh, but he did it. So it does play like radio drama, even though it was recorded as nine separate first person uh, narrators who each were alone in the recording studio when they did it. The narrators are spectacular. Greg and I, when we were batting around ideas, said, who do we want? Main character is an ex-con named Roscoe Kadulian. Who would be great for this kind of rumpled, uh, rough-around-the-edges person? Greg said, hey, you know who would be the ideal? We want Canadians. What about Brendan Fraser? And I said, oh, my God, Brendan Fraser. He's perfect. You're exactly right. And then... Uh, Brendan went and won the Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in The Whale. And we thought, well, we're done. There's no way we're getting Brendan. And Greg and I set about writing a, you know, a B list of who we would like. And Audible said, in good Canadian fashion, hold my beer. They went after Brendan and they got Brendan. Best Actor Academy Award winner for our main narrator. I was blown away. And Brendan and the other actors, I'll tell you about them if you ask. Yes, uh, all were spectacular. Uh, yeah, I understand you have Luke Kirby. Uh, you have uh, Vanessa Sears, uh, who people might know from Kim's uh, Convenience, and uh, Colin Fiore. Well, we've got uh, Vanessa actually is a Broadway actress, uh, uh, but Adora Maver Moore, a theater winner, 
uh, um, a theater award winner. Uh, it's Adam, uh, sorry. Uh, Andrew. Um, Andrew Fung. Yes, uh, Andrew. From Kim's Convenience that we have. But exactly. And and Colm Fjord. I mean, oh my God. Uh, uh, Canadian theater royalty. Uh, we were greatly helped by the fact that, again, Greg Sinclair, as I say, uh, came in with all of his experience from uh, doing radio drama at the CBC and also after CBC wound down radio drama, he went on to be artistic director at Soul Pepper, Toronto's one of Toronto's absolutely best theater companies. So he was drawing on a lot of his connections uh, to think of who would be the ideal uh, performers. And I'm just blown away, Peter. I had, an, as you may recall, a TV series on ABC, uh, you know, in 2009, 2010, flash forward based on my novel of the same name. Which, by and the way, have, you know, I, I got to mention, one of my favorite television series, even though it was short-lived, and I actually read the book after the series and loved that even better. Well, thank you. As the author, we always think the book is better than the movie. But my point was, you know, we had a good cast on uh, on Flash Forward and some big names like uh, 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 Joe Fines, uh, you know, uh, but... Nobody has brought the kind of A-list talent across the board to a production of my work uh, before than Audible did this time. They opened uh, their uh, their wallet quite wide to bring in this cast, and I'm just absolutely thrilled with how the download had turned out. Well, it's interesting because Audible, you can download the um, uh, a free copy if you have an Audible account. Is it any coincidence that the, the title of the book is The Downloaded? And what is it about? No, that's funny because I, I was chuckling internally. I didn't want to put it on mic when you made that joke uh, in the intro. Had it even occurred to me? No, it's not a reference to it being a downloadable audiobook, but it really is. So, but what it's about, and again, why uh, we're so thrilled in a way to get Brendan Fraser, because his break, big breakout role decades ago was in Encino Man, as you may recall, where he was a frozen caveman who woke up in modern day California. Well, this is about a bunch of people who have been cryonically frozen uh two groups one a voyage uh, astronauts leaving on an interstellar voyage going to have the voyage happen in hibernation and the other convicts who are having their prison sentences uh served in a virtual prison with their bodies frozen while it's happening and they are forced to download back into physical reality and have to learn to work together because they turn out to be the only survivors of a catastrophe that hit Earth. These, the right stuff kind of astronaut folks, and these very much the wrong stuff. Uh, ex, uh, well, they're still current convicts when they're downloaded, um, trying to rebuild humanity after an apocalypse. Wow, you know you've written so many books, and they're all very different in a lot of cases and it's just it's it, my marvel at where these come from what's the mind of robert j sawyer really like so this you know i mentioned covid as a production difficulty but it was also the genesis of the the whole project because we had started uh essentially all living uploaded lives uh, in virtual existences because of COVID lockdown. We didn't go to the office anymore. We telecommuted from home. We didn't go out to restaurants. We had services bring us stuff to our home. We didn't physically go out with our friends. We chatted on Zoom or other online services. But I knew, as we all were hoping, of course, that the COVID pandemic would come to an end. And at some point, we'd all have to download figuratively back into our physical reality and how would we deal with flesh and blood humanity again after a period of time when we've been isolated from other people so like most good science fiction uh the downloaded is a metaphoric treatment of a very real world phenomenon well as a science fiction writer and i've asked this of science fiction writers in the past so, I, but I don't think I've asked you. So I, I will ask this question, and that is: as a science fiction writer, uh, you get to create these worlds, these what if situations. And I'm just wondering if, in your personal life, are you generally an optimistic person or a pessimistic person? Because a, a lot well, of science funny. fiction is yeah, is it's dystopian. A great question. Yeah. It, 
it's funny because uh, Audible categorized, and they didn't ask me, it's just if you look, post-apocalyptic fiction, which of course is a downbeat um, genre. I am an optimist. And despite the fact that there's been a catastrophe that has uh, killed most of humanity as the backstory of the downloaded, uh, it is an uplifting work. I am uh, kind of in a minority among science fiction writers these days because it is so much easier to imagine the world getting worse. Uh, every day we read these horrific headlines about war and terrorism and famine and so forth. But I am an optimist, Peter. I think tomorrow will be better than today. And the day after tomorrow will be better than tomorrow. And the downloaded, really, despite, of course, some dark moments in it, as one has to have in drama, is an ultimately uplifting piece because I'm an upbeat guy and I do think humanity's best days lie ahead of us. The Downloaded is now available in a six-month exclusive window as an auto audiobook on Audible, and it's free to anyone who has an Audible account. Now, what about those who love the old-fashioned, you know, Dead Tree version? <laughs> when will that come out, and, and will that be any different? So I'm listening to the downloaded right now myself. You know, I was in China when the final edit was done. Uh, I was guest of honor at the World Science Fiction Convention in China this year. Uh, so I'm making little tweaks to the text in response to, ah, this is the way Brendan Fraser read it. That's an interesting take on the line. Maybe I have to put some italics here or italics there in the printed text. The book will be out. Audible did negotiate for a six-month exclusive, so it comes out in a book form when that's over. And in fact, the release date will be uh, May 7th, 2024, in a print edition, absolutely. You get it at your local bookstore, and an ebook edition as well. Excellent. Again, Robert, thank you very, very much for taking the time to be on the program with us. Always a joy to have you on the show, and uh, people should get the their audio version of The Downloaded. Thank you, Peter. Always a pleasure. Science fiction writer Robert J. Sawyer. His latest novel is The Downloaded. You can go to my website at thestuffall.com to the page for this show, which is show number 0742, and you'll find links to Robert's site. You'll also find the link to Audible, where The Downloaded is available. You've just heard an exclusive excerpt from the Stuff File program with Peter Anthony Holder. To hear any or all of the full hour-long shows, visit thestufffile.com. Stuff is spelled S-T-U-P-H. That's thestufffile.com. A presentation of Flying Fish Communications.